Okay, let's discuss RRSPs versus TFSAs for the 20-something. If I had to pick one, assuming I can't do both, where should my money go? RRSPs and TFSAs both provide benefits, but for a young adult graduating school, probably the TFSA is the best way to go for tax reasons as well as the flexibility. Just lay out the reasons why you would tell me to use the TFSA. One of the greatest benefits of an RRSP account is the tax deduction that you get on your contributions. So typically if you're a young adult graduating school, you're in a lower marginal tax bracket than you potentially might be in the future. And so you want to save that contribution room for when you're in that higher marginal tax bracket and it makes more of a So in other words, it's small tax break for an RSP when I'm young and not earning much, big tax break when I'm older and have a much better paying job. Right. So if you are in the, the lower marginal tax bracket, save that contribution room and okay. invest in the, RS, or the TFSA instead. All right. Now, the TFSA is really flexible. I can put money in. I can take money out. With an RSP, the only way to get it out really is with the home buyer's plan. Otherwise, I have to pay a big withholding tax. Is the TFSA suitable as an all-purpose account? It's a great investment for young adults because of the flexibility. You can withdraw your funds at any time for any reason tax-free. So this means young adults are saving for a lot more than just going back to school or buying a home. They're saving for weddings, vacations, car payments. A TFSA does not have to be invested in a high interest savings account. I mean, that's a great way to go for security, but explain what the investment options are for a TFSA. You can hold any investments in the TFSA, the same as investments as the RRSP account. If you are using the TFSA as a short-term savings vehicle, you just want to make sure that the investments that you hold in the account are liquid enough in that if you needed the funds tomorrow or somewhere short down the road that you can get out of those positions and access your money. Quickly. Okay, you know what, I'm a really big believer that if you're saving for something where you can't afford to lose the money, accept the low return and put it in a high interest account and you'll, you'll be quite sure the money's there. Thanks, Caitlin. Thank you.